Welcome to Ethical Hacking for Beginners. In this section, we're going to take a look at some basic terminologies used in this course and also some operating systems that are used in this course. Basic terminologies. Data can be defined as the quantities, characters, or symbols on which operations are performed by a computer being stored and transmitted in the form of electrical signals. We can also call this information. Network. A network is multiple devices connected together to share resources or data. And a great example of a network is the internet. The internet is made of many devices connected together to share data. IP address. This stands for Internet Protocol Address. And version 4 is 32 bits with 4 octets starting at 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 all the way up to 233.255.255.255. Since so many devices have started connecting to the internet, it was established that people were worried we were going to run out of addresses, and so a new standard was born, and it's 128-bit version 6. And this is four octets going from 000, 000 all the way to FFF. Now an example of an IP address, we can see in a Windows system, if I click on my uh, network box here, and I click details right here, here we'll see my IP version 4 address, which is the 4 octets, 10.168.50.223, and I also have a version 6 address right down here for a local address. Right now, uh, IPv6 is not widely adopted as of yet into home systems but it's coming continuing on mac address this stands for media access control or physical address and this is six octets with the first three being an organization unique identifier we can also see that in a windows system by clicking on our network icon clicking details in this physical address right here. So the first three octets, 5C-AC-4C, I can look up online to see who the manufacturer of my network card is. Uh, MAC addresses can be important in ethical hacking because there are some systems that use MAC filtering and so if you do not have the right MAC address you cannot obtain a, an IP address and gain access to the network. Back to our terminology, malware is software intended to compromise, damage, or disable a computer, a program, or a system. And examples of these are a virus, some worms. Ports are interfaces or channels that are used to communicate between computers or devices. And ports range from zero to 65,536 with 0 to 1024 being uh, the most popular port numbers for services such as say for example port 22 SSH is commonly run on port 22 FTP is commonly run on port 21 and so on. Ethical hacking can be defined as testing computer and network security with permission and authorization to improve security of that system or network. A white hat hacker is an ethical hacker. A black hat hacker is an attacker with malicious intent and usually does not have permission to breach a system or a computer or a network. A penetration test, also commonly known as a pen test, is the evaluation of security of a computer or a system or its network by simulating an attack by a black hat hacker. Simulating meaning we are pretending to be a black hat hacker and gain access to these systems. A vulnerability is a flaw within a system or a network. You can think of this like a like it's a hole to get in. Exploit is a code or commands that take advantage of a weakness or a flaw within systems or networks to cause unexpected results, sometimes gaining unauthorized access. So this would be something that you put through the hole in order to get in to the system. In this course, we're going to go through a few phases of ethical hacking. Our first phase 
in section one is reconnaissance, which is gathering information of and on your target system, network, or devices. Scanning and enumeration. This is where we collect data, detailed information on the targets, and find vulnerabilities or weaknesses. And finally, we exploit those weaknesses and we penetrate in the system and or networks or devices. And once we're in, we can do something called sniffing. Sniffing is where we intercept network or host traffic. In our next video, we're going to be taking a look at operating systems used in this course.